maybe light a candle, start our diffuser, maybe grab a blanket or any props that we feel we may need here today. And I just want to give a heads up. We're going to make this a nice relaxing flow. So what I already had grabbed for myself is I grabbed something to drink and I grabbed a couple of bolster pillows. So maybe you, if you choose, can grab a couple of pillows. We may or may not use these pillows here today. We are going to freestyle and do a nice relaxing session. So maybe grab some pillows, maybe grab a yoga block. If you have a yoga block, I also have my blanket, just in case we want to relax and chill in our resting pose. And I also have a yoga strap. Now I have a little bit of everything because I'm not sure what we are going to use here today. I just know that we are going to relax and this is a freestyle session. Once again, thanks everyone for joining here today. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am gonna sit in a half lotus. I invite you to find any easy seat that feels good for you as we are using our seated pose to help ground and relax our bodies here today. Taking a nice deep breath in, holding the breath, exhale through the mouth. Taking a moment to notice how the seated pose and the breath feels within the body. We are using the breath to help us go inward, relax and soothe. As we breathe our palms at heart center coming into a seated prayer. Just taking a moment to go inward. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for us. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long, meaning they are not sunken. We have control of our backs. We are sitting nice and tall. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears as we gaze our eyes down and breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale fully. As we are starting to relax and center here today. As we relax in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Feeling our bodies become one with the earth. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, relaxing our palms down beside our bodies. Our fingertips are touching the earth as we are connecting to the earth here. Taking a moment to notice what is going on in our environment, noticing what is going on around us, simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may become distracted, However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. And whatever thoughts and feelings, emotions we may have during our session, may we take notice, being aware of what we are feeling without judgment, simply taking notice, simply being aware. As we relax with our palms connected to the earth, as we relax with our buttocks connected to the earth, with our eyes gazed down or closed, may we go inward for three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our seated suit, reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, our shoulders reaches up towards the ears, allowing our spinal cord to get nice and long here. Yes, reaching those shoulders up, feeling that stretch. As we breathe our palms together, pointer finger is pointing up towards the heavens. As we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back, our chin slightly comes up. Our heart chakra is opened. Building this slight back bend here. With our eyes gazed down or closed, three breaths. Two more breaths. 
Exhale into our salute. Backs are nice and straight as we breathe down to our prayer. Relaxing our palms, our heart center, relaxing the shoulders down away from the ears. As we breathe our palms out towards the side, flowing back to that salute, doing circular rotations here, feeling the movements here. Palms together, exhale to prayer. We are working the upper parts of our bodies. Flowing back to our salute. Exhale to prayer. Breathing back to our salute, feeling the rotations here. Palms are together in our salute. As we slightly bring our palms apart. Yes. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. Eyes are gazed down as we are channeling in. We are breathing in. We are bringing in any positivity that we may need in our lives here. Hope, inspiration, whatever we need, whatever we want, whatever we wish, we are channeling it in. We are manifesting. Heart chakra is open, chin slightly up, eyes are gazed down, four breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Feeling what we want and need come to us. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms together, we are back in that salute, in our seated salute. As we flow our palms slightly to the side, coming into that seated star. Heart chakra is open, chin is up, palms are off to the side. We are in our seated star. We are still manifesting. We are still bringing in what is hopeful, what is needed, what we want in our lives. Three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, twist the body towards the right, feeling that spinal twist, relaxing the arms down towards the earth. Fingertips touches the earth as we gaze over that right shoulder, feeling this spinal twist here. Allowing the spinal cord to relax and soothe. You may even feel your spinal cord cracking, maybe. As our eyes are still gazed down or closed, may we relax here in our seated twist for three natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming back to that seated star. Breathe in. Twisting our bodies towards the left, relaxing our palms downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist opposite side. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Three natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that star as we flow to our salute. Breathing down to our prayer. Relaxing the body here. Two breaths. As we exhale to our tabletop, coming onto our hands and our knees. Tummies are nice and tight here. Knees are hip distance apart. Our elbows are straight. As we drop down, chin is slightly up. Exhale to our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Cat pose. Breathing back to our cow. Noticing how this cow pose feels. Noticing how this cow pose feels in our lumbar spine, our low back. As we flow back to our cat. Coming back to our table, tummies are nice and tight here. We're gonna breathe our right leg towards the back, working on that bone, working on that bird pose. Our leg is straight towards the back. As we breathe that left arm forward, we are in our full sunbird pose here. If we need to catch our balance, we can always lower our right toes downward towards the earth. Taking a notice, taking a moment to notice how it feels with our toes downward towards the earth and our legs straight up. 
And may we do whatever feels best for us in our body at this present moment. As we are gaze forward, tummies nice and tight, we are balancing and strengthening here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Flowing back to our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale into cat. Lower back to our table as we breathe that left leg towards the back. Feeling that stretch. Legs nice and long. Bringing that right arm forward. We are now in our sunbird. Tummies nice and tight. Keeping in mind that we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. That feels good. As we are gazing forward, we are building strength and balance. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to sunbird. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale into our table as we drop down to our cow. Exhale the cat. Lower back to our table. As we breathe our right arm up towards the heavens. Still an extra stretch. Fingertips are reaching towards the heavens as we gaze up at our right fingertips. Still an extra stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm thread through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Eyes are gazed down and closed as we allow our shoulders to melt forward into the earth. We are connecting and touching base with our environment. And if we choose, we can wrap that left arm around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. We are in our sunburn as we go inward for five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we breathe our left arm up towards the heavens, fingertips are reaching towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. As we are gazing up at our fingers, breathe in, exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, allowing our bodies to relax and soothe here. And if we choose, we can wrap our right arm around our backs. or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms or flat on the earth, whatever we choose, we're gonna relax here, thread the needle for five natural breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Allowing the shoulder blades to completely melt forward into the earth. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. 
flowing back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can pedal our feet, walking our dog, moving our legs left and right, ensuring that our tummies go nice and tight here. As we find our pause, shifting our bodies forward, coming up to that side plank, we are building strength in the upper parts of our body. If we choose, we can come on up to our knees, or we can flow down to a low plank, whatever you choose. Three breaths. As we twist our bodies towards the right, we're gonna come into a high or low plank. Five plank, I'm sorry. Coming into that five plank, breathing that one up here. We can be high or low, not plank. We are building strength and we are working out of the weak, the size of our tummies here. Two more breaths. Exhale and exhale over that here. Exhale and back to that side plank. As we flow back to our damn dog, walking our dog by pedaling our feet, tummy slides here, finding pause. Shifting our weight forward, we are back in our high plank, and we are building strength. We are warming up our bodies here. As we side plank, opposite side, lifting up that opposite arm, up in the air, still in this side plank, building strength. We are working our core, we are working our obliques, the sides of our tummies here. <sighs> Two more breaths. And if we choose, we can reach that hand over our head, feeling that side plank stretch. Exhaling back to plank. As we flow back to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog as we come. Our feet left and right. Finding our paws coming down to our dolphin. We are on our four horns here. Coming down to that dolphin pose. But up is high in the air as we are gazing back at our feet. This dolphin pose preps the mind and body for headstand. Four more breaths. And maybe we can do a couple of pulses on our tippy toes, noticing how that feels in our forearms when we pulse our tippy toes up and down. Two more breaths. as we drop down to our knees. And if we have a pillow, maybe we can bring the pillow between our thighs, or maybe we can bring the pillow in front of us. As we relax and soothe our bodies here in a child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever pose feels best for you. And if we choose, this is just an option. We can grab that pillow and relax that pillow within our bodies. As our heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, and our third eye chakra, our forehead, also connects towards the earth. We are connecting the heart. We are connecting the third eye chakra to the earth, allowing us to go inward, allowing us to see and feel what is needed in our lives. We are going inward and we are searching for our answers for us. As we relax and soothe here in our child's pose or puppy pose, may we go inward for six Natural breaths. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we extend our palms in front of us in that extended child's pose or puppy pose if they were, if they were not already there. With our palms flat on the earth, 
May we spine away our bodies out of our child's pose of puppy pose. Using the palms to push your bodies forward and using the palms to push our butt out towards the heels of our feet. In our spinal wave, we are working our spinal cord. We are relaxing and soothing the spine. And if we choose, we can allow our head to flow within our spinal cord. <sighs> Filling that complete spinal cord rotation. We're gonna relax and soothe for three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause as we do a couple of circle rotations at our hips. Now we are we are rotating and circling the lower parts of our hips, the lower parts of our bodies here. With our tummies nice and tight, as we add our head into the circular rotation. Yeah, so we are wiggling our hips, we are tummies tight, we are wiggling our heads. We are simply getting, we are simply getting lost in the pose here, having fun, loosening up our entire spinal cord, loosening up our hips. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause at center, we're gonna come back to our tabletop position as we push our bodies back up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our feet, nice and stretch. Walking our dog as we pedal our feet. As we find our pause, coming into that three-legged, lifting our right leg up in the air, gazing back at their foot. Exhale, breathing that knee to elbow, tummy's tight. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking our dog. And we're gonna to continue to build strength in our arms here as we flow to that three-legged opposite side, bringing that left leg in the air. Gazing at that foot. Exhale, knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow. Back to three-legged. Flowing back to our down dog. Flowing down to our dolphin. Coming on to our forearms. Dropping down to our knees. Going into our wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose. Taking the option to grab that pillow. Placing that pillow between our thighs or in front of us. And simply just going inward here with our Eyes gaze down, our heart chakras connected to the earth. As we take this time to go inward and focus on self, five breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Shoulders melt forward, eyes are gaze down. Three breaths. Blowing our hands into our extended child's pose or puppy pose if they were not already there as we spine away our bodies out of this position here. Two breaths. Finding our body back at our table. Knees are hip distance apart. Elbows are nice and straight as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Blowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position, just for a second, we're going to come on to our buttocks. 
as we cross our feet at our ankles, and we're gonna slightly go into a boat pose, but not just yet. We just have our feet up, crossed at our ankles, and our hands are simply just at our side. Noticing how we feel this in our abdominal muscles here. We are working our core, we are working on our abdominals. So we're basically just building strength. Holding this pose just for a couple breaths. Tummy's nice and tight here. As we come into our boat pose, we can have our legs parallel with our arms side beside our legs, or we can straighten out those legs straight up in the air and be in our boat pose. Just keeping in mind in our boat pose, we may fall over if our backs are not straight. So we wanna have that nice straight back, that nice strong back to keep us up here in our boat pose. As we are gaze forward, building strength and balance for four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our hands in towards our chest as we bring our palms from side to side. Yes, just going to the right, going to the left. We are working our obliques. We are feeling a burn here in our core. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling our bodies work here. We got this, we can do this. Finding our paws at center, we are back at that boat pose as we bring our hands to our feet. Connecting our hands to our feet. Backs are nice and straight here. We're not sunken, we have that nice strong back. With our feet in our hand, we're gonna play around, lifting our feet left and right, up and down. Having fun, getting lost in our moment here. As we find our paws here, we're gonna straighten out that left leg towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation. We are feeling that stretch behind our legs here. Backs are nice and straight because if our backs are not, we may fall over. So keeping control of our backs here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing that leg back in as we extend that right leg out towards the side. We are in our boat pose variation opposite. Feeling this stretch here behind our hamstrings. Taking a moment to notice how this feels within the body. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are playing around with our feet here. Tummy's tight. Backs are nice and straight here. As we find our paws, we're gonna straighten out that left leg. We're gonna straighten out that right leg. Now we are in our full boat pose variation. Some people also call this bear pose with our hands and our feet. Tummy's tight, backs are nice and straight as we are gaze forward. We are balancing here. Two more breaths. As we slowly widen our legs, coming into a wide-legged V, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. And if we choose, we can slightly bring our legs inward, tightening our tummy a little bit more if that feels good for us. Backs are nice and straight. Noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. Exhaling our feet inward, playing with our feet in our hand, left and right, up and down, finding our paws as we flow into a bound position, connecting the bottom parts of our feet. Our feet connect to the earth, and we are relaxed here in our bound position. Maybe we're in a butterfly, maybe we are in a diamond pose. Taking a moment to notice the difference between a diamond and a butterfly. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. This is a hip opener. We are working on our hip flexors here. Maybe connecting our hands to our feet as we open up that heart chakra and lift our chin slightly up. Allowing our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are in our cow pose. This is a seated cow, of course. 
two breaths. Flow into our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes to the back of the room. Cat pose, two breaths. Exhaling back to our cow. Flowing back to our cat. Finding our bodies back in our bound position, either diamond or butterfly, as we slightly hinge at the hips. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we go deeper into that hip flexor. So we don't want to overstretch our body. So listening to your body and feel what's going on within and doing what feels best for you in this present moment. So maybe we'll stay up in our diamond or butterfly, or maybe we'll hinge at the hips going deeper into that pose. Allowing our head to fall downward towards our feet. Allowing our shoulders to completely melt forward as well. Simply allowing our bodies to get lost and feel one with this pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Maybe we can extend our hands in front of us with our palms back on the floor as we are in our hinge position. Noticing how this feels. This goes a little bit more deeper into the pose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we come back up to our diamond or our butterfly, we're going to flow back into our cow. Heart chakra comes open, chin goes up, head relaxes between the shoulder blades. We are in our seated cow. Three breaths. Exhaling back to cat. Flowing back to our down position. Using our hands to bring our legs inward as we flow on to our backs. Coming into a reclined position. <sighs> Allowing our backs to relax into the earth with our knees to our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the body, allowing the mind to completely relax here. Two more breaths. As we breathe our knees towards the left, we're gonna come into a reclined spinal twist. Allowing our knees or our legs to flow towards the left as our right arm comes out towards the side like a T. And maybe we're gazing over our right arm or maybe we're gazing up at the heavens. Allowing our shoulder blades and our back to relax into the earth as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Taking a moment to notice how the spinal twist feels within a body. Five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our knees to fall towards the right. We are in our reclined spinal twist. Opposite side. Left arm goes out, goes off towards the side like a T as we gaze at that left arm or gaze up at the heavens. Allowing our torso to relax into the earth, gazing our eyes down or closing them as we go inward for five breaths. Three more breaths.
as we exhale to center, hugging our knees into our chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our legs to flow up in the air. We are in our legs on a wall pose or maybe invisible wall in our case. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. As we reach our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso. Yes, feeling this stretch here. Legs towards the head, towards the torso. Maybe the bottom of our buttocks is coming off the earth. This is a full body stretch. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the legs back up in the air, legs on the wall pose. As we breathe in, exhale. Bringing our knees in towards our chest. We're gonna flow into our happy baby. Feet are up in the air. Knees are towards our chest as we breathe our palms between our thighs. Bringing our palms out towards the sides, hugging them towards our feet, connecting them towards our feet. Happy baby. Spinal cord is relaxed into the earth. Feet are in our hands. And maybe we are using our hands to massage our feet if that feels good for us. Maybe we are playing around and wiggling our toes within our hands. Maybe with our eyes, gaze down and closed. May we use our happy baby to find our happy place, to stay in our happy place, to be in our happy place. This is our time. This is me time. This is self-care. As we relax and go inward and freestyle in our happy baby, doing whatever feels good for us, for seven natural breaths. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Maybe we can rock our body from side to side in our happy baby using the earth to relax and soothe our spinal cord. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pose at center, breathing our legs straight up in the air, legs pose as we point our toes upwards towards the ceiling. We are in our plantar flex. Putting those toes up towards the ceiling. Yes, feeling that stretch. Breathing our hands downward to the lower parts of our legs. Breathing our legs towards our torso. Feeling this full body stretch. Our buttocks comes off the earth. Three breaths. Exhale, legs back in the air. Breathing our knees into our chest. Crossing our feet at our ankles as we Bring our bodies up, coming into that boat pose. Are we going to hang out here and hover in that boat pose just for a second? We're going to work on that core one more time. We are working on building strength in the center parts of our bodies here. We're just simply hanging out here. And maybe we could do a couple of crunches if we choose. If we choose, just simply bringing those knees in, bringing them out. Bringing them in, bringing them out. And we are feeling that burn. We are feeling our core getting nice and tight here. We can simply stay still. Whatever feels best for you and your body. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Coming to that boat pose. Four breaths. Gazing forward, tummy's tight. Two more breaths. Bringing our arms inward as we pound our hands from side to side, working on our obliques here. Four breaths. 
two breaths. Finding our pause, coming back to center, bringing our hands towards our feet as we flow back to our diamond or our butterfly. As we hinge at the hips, allowing our head to relax downward towards our feet. Straightening our arms in front of us with our palms flat on the earth if we choose. Three breaths. Exhaling back to our bound position, either diamond or butterfly. Using our hands to bring our legs inward as we straighten our legs out in our staff pose. Our legs are parallel side by side as we breathe our palms above our heads in our seated salute. Fingertips reaching up towards the heavens. Interlacing our hands together. Point of finger is pointing up towards the ceiling as our arms flow towards the back. Chin is slightly up. Exhaling back to that seated salute as we breathe down to our prayer. Relaxing our palms at heart center. Gazing our eyes down as we slowly hinge at our hips, coming into that half forward fold. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing our hands to flow downward towards our feet, coming into that complete forward fold. As we plan to flex our toes downward towards the earth, pointing our toes downward towards the earth, allowing our bodies to feel that full body stretch here. As we gaze our eyes down, may we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Maybe taking a notice of how that exhale allows us to go deeper into this pose. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale to half forward fold. Flowing back up to our staff pose. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're gonna flow our bodies back into a tabletop position. Knees are hip distance apart. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Lower back to our table as we push our bodies up to our damn jaw, gazing at our feet. As we breathe that right foot to that right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second, we're going to bring our right arm inside of our right thigh. Yes, so now both of our palms are flat on the earth. We are in our lizard prep pose here. And if we choose, we can drop one down to that knee here in our lizard, relaxing our body. We can also use our yoga block in front of us if we choose, if we want to go deeper in our lizard, coming down on our forearms here. Yes, noticing how this lizard pose works our hips. This pose here prepares the mind and body for a split, actually. So we can hang out here in this lizard, building strength and stretching our bodies for four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhaling our bodies out of that lizard, using our hands to push our torsos back up away from the earth. We're going to come off that knee if we were on our knee. We're going to twist our bodies towards our right thigh. Right one goes up in the air, fingertips are towards the ceiling as we gaze at our fingertips, if that feels good for us. We are in our revolved low lunge twist. We're gonna hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale in that hand inward. We are back in our lizard prep as we flow to our down dog. Gazing at our feet as we are walking our dog. Tummies are nice and tight. Finding our pause as we breathe that left foot towards that left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. 
just for a second. We can bring that left arm inside of that left thigh. We are now in our lizard prep. We can drop down to that knee. That feels good for us. We can also bring that yoga block in front of us and come on down to our forearms here in our lizard prep. Coming off that knee if that feels good for you. Preparing the mind and body for split. As we relax and soothe here, four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that lizard, using our palms to push our torsos up away from the earth. We're gonna come off that knee as we twist our bodies towards the left, right towards the left. Left arm goes up towards the heavens. We are in our revolved twist, opposite sides. Gazing up at our fingertips. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe that palm inward, we are back in that prep pose here. Yes, lizard prep. As we flow to our down dog. Mm. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Flow into our high plank. Exhale back down dog. As we walk our feet, towards our hands, coming into a complete forward fold. Allowing our torso to completely relax over our thighs here. Noticing how this complete forward fold is a full body stretch. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. And maybe we can yogi walk our feet slightly apart as we flow into a rag doll, hugging our elbows with our hand, allowing the head to completely relax over here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Flowing back to that complete forward fold. Exhale to half. As we come up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, palms are at our sides. We are standing tall. We are standing strong. With our feet planted to the earth, we are rooted. We are inward here. We are planted. Standing in our Tadasana, our mountain pose. We are power. We are one. We are unstoppable. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our standing salute, reaching our fingertips up towards the heavens. Exhaling, bringing our palms slightly apart. We are in our extended mountain. Flowing back to our standing salute. As we breathe down to our prayer, bringing our palms that heart center. Breathe in. Exhale. Allowing the shoulders to melt downward away from the ears. Tummies tight, bodies relaxed, eyes are gazed down. Palms are at heart center. As we are going inward, we are focused on self. We see, we want, we know, we are aware. As we hang out here in our standing prayer, focusing on self, being rooted and being strong. May we go inward and see what's going on within. Five more breaths.
Three more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into that prayer hand, half forward fold. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Palms are still at heart center. Eyes are still gazed down or closed up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, finding our bodies in our chair pose, we are working the lower parts of our bodies here. We can keep our palms at heart center. We can extend our palms in front of us, whatever feels best for us. Chair pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms inward, two breaths. We are in our chair pose prayer. As we twist our bodies towards the right, gazing at the fingers, feeling this final twist, two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Chair pose twist opposite side. Exhale back to center, two more breaths. As we breathe, complete forward fold, relax in the body. This forward fold is a counter stretch to what we just did. Gaze in our eyes down as we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Going inward, relaxing and soothing. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward. Flowing back to our Tadasana. Palms are at our side. We're going to bring our legs slightly apart, coming into that wide legged Tadasana. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up as we flow to our standing star. Palms are off towards the side. We are in our standing star here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale down to our God or goddess pose. Yes, we are building strength in the lower parts of our bodies. We are in our God or goddess pose. We can be in our cactus hands. We can breathe our palms above our heads in our salute. Or we can exhale down to our prayer. Whatever feels good for you. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back up to that standing star. Palms are off to the side. Heart chakras open, chin up. Three breaths. Exhale back down to that goddess, God pose. Cactus hands, salute or prayer, whatever you choose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, relax in the body. We are in our wide-legged forward fold here. Noticing how this feels in the body. Can't move. Allowing our head to completely relax downwards here. As we wrap our bodies from side to side. Noticing how this feels in our hamstrings behind our knees. Finding our pause as we bring our right hand to our right ankle, our left hand to our left ankle, wide-legged forward fold, letting that head completely relax downwards here. Four more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. Mm. 
flow into that wide legged half forward fold as we take this left hand connect the left hand to the right foot right ankle yes we're going to wrap this right arm around our backs like we do when i thread the needle as we gaze over our right shoulder we are in our cross body stretch here we're going to relax and soothe for four breaths Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, come into that half forward fold. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Right hand flows to left ankle. I'm gonna take that left hand, wrap it around our back like we're doing our thread the needle. As we gaze over that left shoulder, we turn, turn, twist. I was, I'm sorry, cross body stretch, opposite side, cross body stretch here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, bringing our right hand to our right ankle, left hand to left ankle, wide legged forward fold, letting that head relax down. Four breaths. Breathe in. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs together. We are back in our down dog, gazing at our feet, tummy tight, as we walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Finding our paws, shifting to high plank. As we exhale down to our low plank or our child rider, hovering over our yoga mat. As we flow to our space pose, coming over to our tummy, we are on our fourth one. <sighs> yeah, so in our Sphinx pose, we are on our fourth one. We are relaxing on our tummies. Our shoulders are not up by our ears. It is relaxed away from our ears. See that there? So we're not slumping down. We have control of that body. This is a slight back bend here. We are on our forearms. As we gaze our eyes down, we'll close our eyes. This is a back bend, but it's also a relaxing and soothing pose. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Allowing our minds and bodies to get settled here. As we are regulating our heart rate, our heartbeat, four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms towards our chest, we're gonna come into a baby cobra. Our elbows are slightly bent. We're gonna use our palms to push our torso slightly away from the earth. We are in our baby cobra here. As we flow to our cobra, straightening out those elbows. Now we are in our cobra. Noticing in our baby cobra, our elbows are bent, torsos are closer to the earth. In our cobra, our elbows are straight, torsos are further away from the earth. This is a deeper back bend here. Chin slightly up. As we exhale to our up dog, taking our thighs off the earth. Now we're in that up dog. Chin is up. Exhale, down dog. Breathe back, high plank. As we float down to low plank with Chaturanga, hovering over that yoga mat. Exhale to Spanx pose. We are back on our tummies. <sighs> Relaxing here on our forearms. Eyes are gazed down to close. 
Two more breaths. As we relax completely down on our tummies, coming into a Superman or Supergirl, bringing our arms straight out in front of us, palms are off the earth, taking our feet, our thighs off the earth, Superman, Supergirl, having fun. And maybe we connect like we are flying. <sighs> if we choose, we can simply stay still. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we swim our hands towards the back, coming into a locust pose, palms or face up towards the heavens. Our feet are still up here. We are in our locust pose. This is a slight back bend. Three breaths. As we breathe that right hand to that right ankle, we're working on our bow pose now. We are now in a half bow with our right hand to our right ankle. We can flow into that full bow by taking that left hand to that left ankle, lifting our torso further away from the earth, feeling that deep back bend. Chin is up, bow pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. Relaxing the body down, flowing back to that locust pose, arms off the earth, feet and thighs are off the earth, locust pose, two breaths. Holding this locust pose, staying in this pose, we're going to relax the body down, allowing the shoulders to melt forward, allowing the third eye to pass the forehead to relax into the yoga mat. We're going to go inward and choose here in our sleeping locust for four breaths. Shoulder blades melt forward into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down the floor. Third eye chakra is connected to the earth. Four more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths, as we awaken that sleeping locust, we're coming back up, we are back in that locust pose, torso comes off the earth, palms, legs are off the earth, locust pose, three breaths, Swimming our hands forward, coming back into that Superman, Supergirl. Maybe we're flying from left to right. <sighs> Finding our pose as we breathe our hands inward, coming into a sleep pose. Stacking our palms on top of each other, relaxing our feet and our thighs to the earth, relaxing our palms to the earth. As we go into a sleep position, we can come onto our chin, our cheeks, or our forehead allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. May we go inward. May we relax. May we soothe the seven natural breaths. Mm. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken our bodies from that sleep pose, we're gonna flow our bodies back to our Sphinx pose. 
We are back on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. This is a slight back bend as we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. As we breathe in deeply, exhale fully. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms near our chest. We're gonna flow our bodies back to a baby cobra. As we flow to a cobra, straightening out those elbows. Exhale to tabletop position. We're gonna take our pillow, place it between our thighs or place that pillow in front of our bodies. So between our thighs or in front of our bodies, if we choose, and we're gonna relax and soothe here in our child's pose or puppy pose. Allowing our bodies to further go inward and relax. We are going to focus on self and see what is going on within us. And whatever feelings, thoughts, emotions we may be feeling or having throughout our session, may we notice them, may we be aware of them without judgment. Always being kind and loving to ourselves. Seven natural breaths, child's pose or puppy pose, your choice. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we extend our palms in front of us, if they were not already coming into that extended child's pose, puppy pose. As we spinal wave our bodies out of our position. Finding our bodies back in our table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhaling to our cat. Flowing back to our table. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose, coming into any seated position that feels good for you, I'm going to come into a cow face. May you find your seat of choice oh, as we are soothing down and simmering here today. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long. Our shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Allowing the body to relax here. As we gaze our eyes down, we close our eyes. May we breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale fully. Noticing what that breath does to the body. Being aware of how the breath makes you feel. Knowing that we always have that breath to relax and soothe us whenever we need it. As we find our relaxation here. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Taking this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice our self-care here today. 
as we go inward and center into silent meditation before natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we make time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today for it truly truly is a blessing the light in me sees appreciates and respects the light in you namaste